I'm back. Oh, that was fast. So, did you get my venti hazelnut non-fat soy milk frappuccino chilled to exactly 3.5 degrees Celsius? Yep. And I got a double-double. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks, Dr. McBurney. I don't know how you even drink that stuff. <laughs> anyway, we have a bit of time before the next case. Is there anything in particular you want to talk about? Well, we did appendicitis and gallstones last time. So, can we talk about something maybe a little bit different? Sure. Go for it. Hmm. Okay, class. Be sure to know about CanMeds for your exam. CanMeds? Um, how about CanMeds then? It's just, we have to learn so much stuff in med school, and I just remembered my prof told us we need to know about CanMeds. I mean, I don't even know what CanMeds really is. Oh boy, how am I ever gonna be a doctor? Oh, I'm such a failure. Okay, don't panic. Okay. CanMed is really just a way to think about all the different things that a doctor does. Like different kinds of operations? Mmm, not quite. If you go back a hundred years, back in the days of the old-timey surgeons, everyone pretty much knew what a doctor was. Over the last 20 years or so, we've started looking a bit more closely at what doctors do. Hi. Different countries had developed a bunch of different frameworks to describe all the different parts of the job. In the UK, for instance, it's duties of a doctor, and in the US, it's the ACGME competencies. Here in Canada, CanMeds is the big kahuna. Okay, so what's in CanMeds then? Well, the first version was in 2005, and there's a new version coming out this year for 2015. There are seven different CanMeds rules. It looks a bit like a flower, actually. I like flowers. Great. Are you ready for an instructional dream sequence? Oh, I was born ready. Here's our CanMeds doctor, ready to go and look after some patients. Let's give him a bit of a shake and see if we can bring out his CanMeds rules. Ah, there we go. Now we can see the rules a bit more clearly. Let's start with communicator. This one is all about relationships, and being able to communicate with your patients and their families. If you can't talk to people properly, you can't get the information you need to help people get better. Oh, and it's also about managing that information in good medical records as well. Right. Communicator equals relationships with patients and families and getting good information. Gotcha. Now, check out Collaborator. This one is all about team. Medicine used to be a one-person show, but nowadays we all work as part of a large healthcare team. You've got to be able to work well with lots of different people in order to provide great, safe care for your patient. Cool. Collaborator equals teamwork. Got it. So what's next? Right. Next up is leader. This one used to be called manager and it's changing for 2015. It's about doctors leading within the healthcare system to improve care locally, nationally and globally. This can be through administration, scholarship and teaching as well. Okay. CanMed's leader equals making the healthcare system better. Now we have Advocate. This one is all about doctors using our expertise and influence to make things better. We work with our patients and our communities to figure out what they need, help patients' voices to be heard, and to get things moving for change. Okay, so then Advocate is about doctors helping people and communities to change things for the better. <sighs> you know, some of these roles are kind of heavy. Are we almost done? Okay, keep your hair on, there's only a few more to go. Next one is Scholar. This one is all about lifelong learning, teaching, and improving care through research and evidence. It's not enough anymore to graduate medical school and just stop learning. We have to keep finding out new stuff throughout our careers in order to help our patients better. Right, Scholar equals learning, teaching, and research. Okay, onwards to Professional. This one is all about how we behave as part of the medical profession. We work ethically, we have high standards of behaviour, and we are accountable to both our profession and the larger society. The old-timey surgeons never had this one. Ah, oh, okay. Professional equals being a good member of the medical profession. But that's only six roles. Where's the seventh one? Ah, uh, that's where the magic happens. Let's put our CAMEDS doctor back together again. Okay, do you see it yet? Uh, no. It's medical expert, the seventh role. 
This is the central role and it lets our CAMEDS doctor use all of the other roles to provide great care to patients. So, that's CAMEDS explained in less time than it takes to drink a double-double, or whatever that thing you have is. How did I do? Any questions? Do you just switch between the roles when you need them? Kind of like Transformers? Mm, it's not just exactly like Transformers, no. It's more like you have to have all the roles ready to go and use them together as you need them. Some days you might be focused mainly on one role and other days you might have to use them all. Still sounds like a lot to learn though. Well, yes, but you do have lots of time to get used to it. Remember, CanMeds applies right from medical school through into residency and then throughout your career as a doctor as you continue to learn. There is a lot more to it, of course. I'm really only scratching the surface here. Well, sounds like CanMeds is really important. Just remember to work on each of the roles. You can't be a great doctor if you leave out any of the parts. So remember to work on all of your petals. Will do, Dr. McBurney. All right, that's enough teaching for one coffee break. Let's get back to the OR and do a bit of work on our medical expert role.